So most of you have probably come from the last video, which was explaining how you set up these ships. Now I'm going to explain how you defend them. So let's start with our little craft here, just for posterity. Little crafts only support the small cannons. If you try to build the larger cannon and you try to move the craft, you'll notice it doesn't work. Um, so to build a small cannon, what you want to do is place three wool blocks, place a button on either end, place a sign on the side, and a torch on the top. You need the sign if you're going to move the cannon. If you're not going to move the cannon, then that's fine. But if you're going to move it on a ship or at all, you need to place the sign. Now, next what you need is gunpowder and cobblestone. And we're going to move the ship, actually, because currently our cannon is facing right at that ship. So, do the sloop. Going to rotate it. Bring it, just bring it right here. We'll shoot that little sandbar. Now, what you'll also need is a clock and that stick right there. Sorry, I made a mistake. You don't need a stick, you need a bone. Um, I changed it to a bone because otherwise it would conflict with the move craft thing and it'd be hard to operate cannons and pilot the ship at the same time. So what you need is a bone. And you need to clean your cannon. The cannons come dirty for some reason. Uh, once you've actually built them, you only need to clean them every so often. But place in as much gunpowder as you want. Um, it depends by cannon, but for this, it's three three gunpowder maximum. Place in a cannonball. Then push the projectile. It'll be ready to fire. And then what you want to do is take your clock. You right-click on the cannon. Hold shift to aim. Cursor goes, you'll notice the aiming thing goes with it. So, set it up right there. Hit the torch. And there you go. You just fired a cannonball. Note, uh, later I will get into how you can operate with this, this with redstone, but right now I'm just explaining how you put it on a ship. So now, we are on our caravel, our larger ship, and this ship can support iron cannons, so we're going to build one right now. So what you want to do is two iron blocks, button on either side, same as the other cannon, and place a sign somewhere on it. Then take your torch, and you build a cannon. And it works, it loads the same way. Well, you have to clean it before firing, but... Um, iron cannons can actually load from a chest, which is useful when you're making it redstone automated. Um, if you place the chest, and then place the gunpowder and the cobblestone inside, and you have it redstone activated, it will automatically load. However, we're not going to do that today. There you go. Now, take your clock again, enter aim mode, and... We will fire the cannon. And there you go. Um, it's worth mentioning, you can also load this with melon seeds, which effectively acts like grape shot. Um, it's not effective against structures or ships, but it will be effective against mobs. And if you try to pilot the craft, you'll see, once again, this time it actually works. It does not give you an error because this ship does in fact support iron blocks. Okay, so now we're going to look into a little bit of the redstone that can go with cannons. Um, in particular, let me just get a building block of some kind. We will talk about iron cannons because iron cannons have more functionality than the basic classic cannons. So the most basic tenet is that to activate the cannon, you either have to run the redstone into the button somehow, whether it be through redstone or Peter or whatever, or you have to run it into a redstone torch underneath the barrel, such as, you see it tries to activate. That tone means it's trying to activate, but does not have ammo loaded or some other factor is getting in the way. Um, same thing goes with, uh, with this. <clears throat> 
empty. So if you actually load this up, or we'll clean the barrel, then load it up, then, and then you try to fire it, it will actually it will actually work. Um, one other thing worth mentioning is that, so let's destroy this cannon real quick. And what we're going to do is. We're going to build another cannon right here. Same type. We'll place a sign there. You'll notice there's just one sign, both work. And if you try to aim one, it aims both. And naturally, with this, you can imagine the possibilities. Um, if I take some redstone. Try running it like this. See, it'll try to fire both. So you can imagine what you can do if you hook this up to a clock. So, just as an example, you know. But, say you were to hook this up to auto loaders and hook it up to a clock, let's see what that would look like. So here, this should work. We have these two cannons, and they can both be controlled like this. And we have gunpowder and cobblestone and iron chest and this clock going. So if we flick the lever, it'll take a moment to auto reload, then it'll fire again. Quite cool, isn't it? And you know, you can imagine possibilities with that kind of thing. So I think that's that's about it. Uh, the only other thing worth really mentioning is that um, the classic cannons cannot be auto loaded, but they can be automatically fired if you just manually load the shells. And uh, yeah, see you, fellas.